Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your boy, Bloody Hog SS. And back with another video. Unfortunately, not a good video, but let's just hope for the best. Um, I'm at the shop right now, as y'all can see. Uh, bare Bones, Bare Bones Auto and Diesel Repair. Um, if y'all don't know, I probably didn't, I probably did say in the video, but not, but anyway, I bought this car from CarMax and everything, and, um, it had a little issues from the beginning, but now it's having another problem. Um, as y'all know, I just came from a Mopar, so I don't know much about, you know, Camaro problems and stuff like that, or learning problems, so, you know, I ended up joining a Facebook group, this little Camaro Facebook group to find out, you know, what's the issue. And then on top of that, another thing too, I'm on warranty, so everything's fixed for free, right? Anyway, so I was having problems where like my car was shuddering at a certain, like any certain miles probably, if I have it at a set at a certain speed, the car would just like vibrate, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I did a little research and everything and, um, one of the things about these Camaros and stuff that you have to, you know, flush out the transmission fluid and all that stuff, which is normal for any car. But they also said that, you know, that's one of the common problems when they have, to, when you drop down the pan and stuff like that, you see a lot of shave, shave metals and stuff because it's a whole lot going on with this Camaro, with these Camaros, especially, you know, my gen 2018. Um, I was about to say. So yeah, that's going on. And then when I make a right curve turn, right, the car makes this noise as if like it needs the alignment. So, you know, of course I took it to the shop, see if it needs the alignment or anything like that. It was fine, it was perfectly fine. So here I am at the shop, trying to figure out what's going on with the car. Um, I feel like, you know, well, it only had one owner, so one thing, I'm going to tell you a little history about the car. It don't have no accident. It only had one owner, and it had, what, 68,000 miles on it? Yeah, it's kind of high, but it is what it is. Had to get rid of the RT because the problems that I was having with that, that was much more costly. So, damn, it's hard to say. I was just to see. So, yeah. Um, what was I say? So, yeah, because the first Camaro I bought, now, y'all, I didn't post it on my YouTube because I didn't have it that long. That was the problem. And I should have took this as a sign. But I gave CarMax a chance. The first car I bought for them was a blacked out, all blacked out, 2SS. And the car blew up within two days. I'm talking about the whole motor and all that blew up. Not saying that it caught on fire or anything, but, you know, you could hear the piston. Clank, 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 clank. Like the piston, the piston, all that shit blew. So... That's when I end up getting this red one that's sitting right there. So, um, I'm going to keep y'all posted and everything. Uh, I don't know. You know, stuff like this kind of made me sketchy about even modding this car. Simply because, you know, the problems it's having right now. Uh, I think, I, I feel like before I even mod this car... I feel like I should get to know the car more by learning. If something breaks, then I know what, what it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, because Chevy is a little bit more responsible. Like, you got to have a little bit more responsibility. Like, you got to have some knowledge with Chevy because it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. But don't get me wrong. I still love the car. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't trade it in or anything like that. You know, I still want a Camaro. I love I love the speed to it, really do. Why well, look like I'm cross-eyed? Maybe it's the camera. Anyway, but yeah. So um, I'm just keep y'all in tune about the car and everything. As y'all know, y'all saw the new mod and everything. I'm gonna put a up here on my Uber. But yeah, y'all subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Like, comment, share, and everything. Catch y'all next time.